Memory is a fascinating aspect of our mental functioning that plays a crucial role in our everyday lives. From remembering important appointments to recalling childhood memories, our ability to store and retrieve information is essential for our survival and learning. But how exactly does the process of memory formation work? In this video, we will explore the three key stages of memory formation. From understanding how we take in information, to how it is stored in the brain, to how we can access it later, this article will provide an in-depth look at the complex and fascinating process of memory formation. Now let's quickly move on to the three stages of memory formation. Number one is encoding. Memory formation is a complex process that is vital for our survival and ability to learn. The first stage of memory formation is encoding, which refers to the process of taking in information through the senses and transforming it into a form that can be stored in the brain. This stage is crucial as it lays the foundation for the subsequent storage and retrieval of memories. Encoding happens in the sensory areas of the brain, where information from the outside world is processed. The sensory information is then transformed into a neural code that can be recognized and stored in the brain. This process of encoding depends on the type of information being processed, the person's level of attention, and the individual's prior knowledge and experiences. For example, when we see a new face, our brains take in visual information, such as the shape and color of the face, as well as auditory information, such as the sound of the person's voice. The brain then encodes this information, converting it into a form that can be stored in memory. If the person's name is also heard, the brain will encode this information as well, linking it to the visual and auditory information. The encoding process is influenced by several factors, such as attention, emotion, and motivation. When we are highly focused, we are better able to encode information effectively. This is why it's easier to remember things that we are interested in or that have a personal significance to us. Emotions can also play a role in the encoding process, with emotionally charged events being more likely to be remembered. Second stage is storage. The second stage of memory formation is storage, which refers to the process of keeping information in the brain for future use. After information has been encoded, it must be stored in the brain so that it can be retrieved and used later. This stage of memory formation is crucial as it determines how long information can be retained in the brain, and how easily it can be retrieved. There are two main types of memory storage in the brain, short-term memory and long-term memory. Short-term memory, also known as working memory, is the temporary storage of information for a short period, usually a few seconds to a minute. This type of memory allows us to hold and manipulate information in our minds for a short period, making it possible to perform complex tasks such as mental arithmetic or holding a phone number in our mind before dialing it. Long-term memory on the other hand, is the permanent storage of information over a longer period, often for the rest of our lives. This type of memory is capable of storing a vast amount of information and allows us to recall past events, facts, and personal experiences. The process of moving information from short-term to long-term memory is called consolidation. This process occurs through repeated exposure to the information and the strengthening of the connections between neurons in the brain. The more often information is rehearsed, the stronger the connections become, making it more likely that the information will be remembered over time. The third and final stage is retrieval. The final stage of memory formation is retrieval, which refers to the process of accessing stored memories and bringing them back into consciousness. Retrieval is the process that allows us to use the information stored in our brain, enabling us to recall past events, facts, and personal experiences. Retrieval can be triggered by various cues, such as visual, auditory, or contextual cues. For example, hearing a familiar song may trigger the retrieval of memories associated with that song, such as where you were when you first heard it or who you were with. Similarly, seeing a picture of an old friend may trigger the retrieval of memories of past experiences with that person. The process of retrieval involves reactivating the stored neural representation of the memory, allowing it to be consciously remembered. This reactivation is thought to occur through the strengthening of connections between neurons in the brain that represent the memory. It is important to note that memories can change over time, and the process of retrieval can affect the accuracy of the remembered information. 
This is because our current experiences and knowledge can influence the way we recall past events, leading to the formation of false memories. The process of memory formation is influenced by various factors, such as emotions, repetition, and context. For example, strong emotions can enhance encoding and retrieval, while repetition can strengthen the memory trace and make it easier to recall later. Additionally, the context in which the information was learned can also impact retrieval, as familiar surroundings can trigger recall. You can learn more about this in the video about how to learn anything and memorize faster. The link is in the description. Overall, the process of memory formation is complex and involves multiple systems in the brain. By understanding the stages and factors involved in memory formation, individuals can utilize strategies to enhance their ability to remember information. If you reached so far, it means you enjoyed this video somehow. So, would you please subscribe to this channel and hit that like button? Thank you for doing so and watching this video till the end. Don't forget to share it with your friends. See you in the next video.